So the question was, how does the AI uh, know when to bluff? Um, and first of all, I should say, I think it's really smart that you do not become a professional poker player. Uh, they're not, with the, the breakthroughs in AI that are happening, uh, it's not a very good profession to be in these days. In fact, <laughs> a, a lot of, you know, when we were doing this competition, um, I, you know, we made this AI, we played it against these top uh, professional poker players. Um, and at the end of the competition, they were coming to me for career advice because they are realizing like, oh, you know, our days are numbered as professional poker players. And I thought this was really bizarre because like, I'm this grad student, this poor grad student, and these are like these high roller poker players and they're coming to me for career advice. Um, but yeah, fortunately, a lot of them were able to transition away from poker very successfully. Can you also, at least in online poker, there could be bots playing against you, but surely just like, um, you know, you could have a Go computer that can be the world's best Go player, there's still some sport in watching humans play Go against each other. Um, so you could presumably still have high stakes poker games where, uh, where no bots are allowed, no robots. Yeah, uh, so actually a, a lot of the really profitable poker players were playing online because they were just simply able to play more tables at the same time. And you know, online poker is at a point where it's, it's really difficult to play high stakes poker um, because there's this risk of bots being on these websites. Um, and so uh, yeah, the, it, there is still an uh, active uh, professional poker community, uh, but a lot of it has shifted towards live poker um, where there's less money to be made. Still, still, you know, if you're really good, you can make a lot of money, but you know, I talk about like the same order of magnitude that it was uh, 10 years ago. Um, nice. And then, did we answer your question? No, we did not. <laughs> <laughs> so, so to answer your, uh, the question was, uh, how does the AI know when to bluff? Um, so the bot actually learns this through self-play. I think a lot of people find this surprising that the bot doesn't view bluffing as lying. It just views it as the action that makes it the most money. Um, you know, if it has a bad hand, it has a choice between folding or raising. And you know, if it raises, it understands that the, there's a chance the other player might fold. And it learns this through experience that it, it played in against itself in previous games. And it saw in those situations, if it raised, that player folded. And so it understands that um, you know, if it does that, there's a good chance that it'll actually make money. Um, now it has to get the probabilities right. And so that's, I think, the, the big challenge. It has to understand that if it raises too much, and it learns this through experience as well, that if it starts to raise too much, too often, and then the, the other player um, starts to call instead of folding, because it understands that, well, you know, this person, when they're raising, they don't actually have a good hand. Uh, I'm gonna start calling more often. And so then, you know, the bot that's bluffing will bluff less often. And so they kind of go back and forth, but they eventually arrive at this equilibrium where the bot is bluffing with the right frequency and the other bot is calling with the right probability so that it all balances out.